we go then, Charlie, here we go. This is your place, all right. Hello, Bet, Betty, my love. Uh, what time do you make it? Well, not gone out nine, I shouldn't think. Betty! Well, never mind. She's gonna go on too far with the front door wide open like that. Unless it's like one of them ghost ships, eh? No, Betty will be down directly and we'll have a nice cup of something on. That'll be nice, won't it? Um, yeah, make ourselves comfortable meanwhile, shall we? Bit like bed and breakfast, isn't it? Uh, guest rooms through here, all meals cheerfully prepared by the lovely widow makes herself. Bar, one for you, Charlie. I never drink alone. If I can help it. Oh, <laughs> uh, here, I'd like to see how far we've come tonight. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Ah, yes, Atlanta, there we are. London to Atlanta, picked up the Jeep. 100 miles south on the motorway, more or less. Turn around about here, and uh, oh, there's the lake. Oh, it's lovely in daylight, the lake is. See it right from the window. Lovely. Just what you need, Charlie, your own forest retreat. Silent, peaceful, eh? What do you think? Oh, I shouldn't have come. Now, now. Oh, Froggy, don't think me ungrateful. I know the enormous trouble you've taken to bring no, me No, no, it was no trouble. Know what I told the ex? He's my assistant, I says. If he don't go, I don't go. One minute later, bingo, on the plane together. Uh, yes, your research assistant. That was a good joke. It but... all depends on my approach. The right approach? That's it. Yes, still. What? When a man's wife is dying, he belongs with her in the hospital, not in Georgia. We'll only be here three days. Still, Frog, with only six months left, six months before now, she... Now, now, doctors have been wrong before. Besides which, Mary wanted you to come here with me, you know that. Fairly begged me to take you, she did. Yes, and so I agree, And but... she was right, too, if I do say it. The way you were hanging about the hospital, pining away, you were looking worse than what she did. Yes, but still from... She was worried for you. Oh? She was. I could see it in her eyes. Oh, Froggy. What? I don't think worry what you saw in Mary's eyes. What? Of course it was. Oh, Frog. For someone I see so little, you're such a great friend. But I think you ought to know. Mary doesn't like me very much. Go on. Oh, no. See, the fact is, she finds me boring. No. Yes, that's why she wanted me to go away with you, you see. She finds me shatteringly, profoundly boring. No. Why would she think that? Oh, because I am, and I know it. There I've sat for nearly 27 years now behind my grey little proofreader's desk. Does anyone, you know, sometimes I wonder whether a science fiction magazine even needs a proofreader. Would anyone really care whether there's 1K or 2 in Klaatu, Barada, Nikto? No, I'm boring, all right. You know, I've often wondered, how does one acquire personality? Yeah, what must it be like to, to tell a funny story? To arouse laughter, anger, or respect? To be thought wise? How must it be? You were a good officer. Oh, not much of a trick in peacetime. Well, we can't always have wars, you know. You would have faced enemy fire with the beast if you had to. That is something I shall always wonder. I oh, don't wonder. And don't wonder about Mary either. I don't know her very well, but I know that I look a lot what she is. She's had her chances. She could have cast her eye on some other blow, but she never has now, has she? Hey? Has she? Oh? No! Yes. All right, all right. You caught her flirting with some bloke, is that it? Caught her making eyes at some bloke. Yes. Where was it? The shower. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. Well, uh, all right, all right, it happens in the best of marriages, eh? One little mistake, one little dalliance, it's no reason. No reason for you to... More than one? More than two? How many, then? Twenty-three. No! More or less. Mary? Yes. I don't believe it. Oh, yes, quite true, actually. You know, 
writers, actors, all the glamorous professions. Criminals, veterinarians. Oh. And did you know? No, yes. Mary wanted me to. She flaunted them at me. I don't believe it. Well, and you still, I mean, after all that, you still love her? Oh, yes, Froggy, more than anything in the world. Love is not love, Froggy, which alters when its alteration finds. No. Who said that? Shakespeare. Ah, oh, yes. He could turn a phrase, couldn't he? Yes. <clears throat> love is not love, Froggy, which... Oh, what? Which alters when its alteration finds. Yes, quite true. But he didn't say Froggy. Oh, uh, no. No, I guess he wouldn't. Of course. Uh, have you talked to anyone else about this? Oh, I've tried to, but I'm no good at it, you see. Talk, talking. I, I never finish my sentences. I, I have an active fear of, 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 of. Talk? Yes. <laughs> Lately, even idle conversation terrifies me. Simply knowing that in another moment it's going to be my turn again to... To, 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 to talk? <laughs> yes. Well, you won't have to worry here. Betty will do all the talking for the most of you. What? Oh, she's a regular chatterbox, Betty is. Good weather, bad weather, how's your mom? Oh, God. I... And when she's not going on about something, the other guests will other be. Other guests? Well. You mean strangers? Well, they won't be strangers long. Why, as soon as you've had one or two. Conversations? Charlie. Oh, Frog, please take me with you. I... Oh, Froggy, please, you don't understand. I can't talk to people now, please. I can't bring a civilian on host, you know that. Oh, Charlie? Oh, God. Here, look. All right, you don't want to have to talk to anyone. All right, I'll fix it for you. Hmm? I'll fix it for you. I brought you here, I'll make it right for you. If it's no conversation you want, it's no conversation you'll have, eh? Oil treated, day and night, baths drawn, meals set out, not a word spoken, nor a word required. How so? But they'll think me rude. No, they won't. It all depends on my approach. The right approach? That's it. I can make Betty love the idea if I put it right. And let's see. Well, I'll think of something. Don't worry. Oh, let's see here. Ah, uh, number seven. Good. Now, you go settle in. And I'll find Ben, and we'll have tea in a minute. But she won't speak to me? I told you. No one in this house will speak to you for the next three days, or you can talk me to Corporal. My word on it. Now, off. Oh, God. What have I done? Ah, well. Oh, I'll uh, help you, miss. Oh! Oh, frog! Come here. Oh, I'm getting y'all wet. <laughs> oh, no, no. I've been wet before. You remind me a bit of Malaysia. Oh, she? <laughs> no, it's a place. Oh, here, look. I brought you something. That's right. You know I love spoons. That's right. I know. A bit tricky to get some of these, you know. Where'd you get this in here? Ooh, I was given that by one of the Aborigines of Canada. Oh, ain't that something? Yes, it is. And, uh, oh, this one. Where do you suppose that's from? I don't know. <laughs> the Mysterious East. Made in Taiwan. That's right. My goodness, Frog, the places you've been, the people you've seen, it just takes my breath away. And what about this in here? Tijuana. Oh, that sounds dangerous. It is. <laughs> yes. Oh, look. I turn her upside down and all her clothes come off. <laughs> oh, well, well, they're heathen people. Land. Oh, yes. Well. This one will have to go in the drawer, but the rest of these, I can leave them right out here. They ain't that party. Not as lovely as you, though. Now. How you been then, Bet? Bad. No. Right bad, I have right poorly. Well, you look wonderful. Slowing down and tiring out. 
Just feeling bad. Well, you look great. Puny and sick and just not much interested in things no more. Running down. No. Running down. How are you? Oh, I'm all right. What are you doing here this time? Oh, same job every year, you know. Guest instructor. The American Army flies me over and I take out a few of the young recruits. Tell them stories about the bomb squad. No, uh, everyone has a sandwich and a bit of fruit. And then we blow up a mountain and hop it back home. Not bad, Tootie. Ain't that dangerous, though? No, no, safe as houses. We're miles away when it goes off. Oh, here, look. My, uh, very own design, this. The Froggy Lassoo. Portable detonation device. Light, yet efficient. Uh, let's see, positive wire here and uh, negative wire attached to the load and I'll uh, push this down. And one less mountain to worry about. Would you look at this? Oh, uh, what? There was two of them this time, that boy. Hey? Oh, it's that dumb little Ellard Sims. He takes one of my apples, bites out of it, then decides he don't want it, throws it in here. Ah, oh, yes. Every day. He does it every day. Scolding him don't do no good, because he's just a little half-wit. But it's a waste, ain't it? Good blind sap apples. <coughs> Reverend Davis says I should just forgive him, but then he's about the most sweet-temperedest man there is on this earth. Reverend David? No, you don't know Reverend David, do you? Nor Miss Catherine, now, do you? Oh, Lordy, the things that have been going on around here. Now, you see, Aylard is Catherine's baby brother, and Catherine and David, they're engaged, and they're staying here now. Ah. In separate rooms. Of course. <laughs> and when they get married, they might just buy the house. And, uh, oh, this house? Yeah, well, they might. Fred. I know, it's hard for me to say sometimes, too. But you've always had this house. I, I thought you... Oh, I know, Frog. But it's been beat real bad lately. There's a lot of damage over the winter. I spent my last nickel fixing that. And now it looks like the regular summer folks ain't even coming at all. Why not? They're scared it ain't safe. Not safe. No, it's that old user that started that talk. Mean old fella. He got himself a property inspector at Tillman. And now he says my foundations are rotten and I'm liable to be condemned. You see the pile of new bricks? Oh, uh, out in the car park, yeah. Yeah, I went and bought them. Getting brick layers at $20 an hour. I can't afford that. Not unless I get some business in here. Well. Property's a bit cheaper if it's condemned, I suppose. Yeah, if Owen gets this place condemned, I can't even sell the house. Just the land under it. That's the law. He hasn't got an interest in the place, has he? Owen? No, we couldn't even afford that little bush out there. Then these young people have money, have they? Oh, yes, Catherine does. Her daddy was since repairing meat, so I reckon you heard of them. I might have done. Yeah, well, she's real well, well off. Her and Ellard's the whole family now. Well, Brett, if you sell the place, then where will you live? Oh, well, I don't know, Froggy. If I have to move out of this house, I don't reckon it'll be long till Beeks and me is <gasps> back together again. Get off! No, I tell you, Frog. Brett! Like we have been adding things up. No. No, I tell you. And the one thing, the only thing I regret, and don't go telling nobody this. Oh, no. I wish I'd managed to see more of the world, like you have. Is it sinful to think that, you reckon? No. Before you come along, I never know you're my outside children. And hearing all your stories about them Arabs and Greek seas and such. Laws, oh, I lie awake sometimes just wondering what they must be like. Foreigners, the different kinds of lives, the way they dress and talk and all. But it's too late now. You get old before you get around to some things. Well, you might be disappointed anyways. Well, I wonder. Oh, yeah, love. Take my word on it. Your typical foreigner? No, you haven't missed much. Been on the door side, really. Bit boring. Quite boring, in fact. Um, dresses about like what we do. Uh, of course, it's useless to say anything to him because he doesn't. He doesn't speak. Hold on. What's wrong? What's wrong, Froggy? 
Oh, oh, me or oh, nothing? Oh, look here, man. Yes? Uh... What is it? I just think it. What? Roy. Roy. Oh, look here, man. There's something I have to tell you. There's this bloke. He's a mate of mine. I brought him along. Here? That's right. He's in my old room right now. He'll be stopping here about, uh, three days. I want you to take super care of him now. Best of everything, right? Well, yes. All right. And the other thing is... Oh, God, how should I put this? He mustn't be spoken to. He mustn't be when? Ever. He mustn't be spoken to. Nope. <laughs> well, why not? Well... Is there something wrong with him? Oh, no, no. Perfectly nice. Terrific fella. But the fact is, he doesn't speak English very well. No? No. In fact, not a word. Oh. No, poor bloke. Now, I can't say too much, mind. I've got my orders. But I'll tell you this. If someone here was wishing to see a border, a real one, perhaps they wouldn't have to look too far. Oh, frog. That's right. I mean, this fella you brought here is... As foreign as the day is long. Where is he from? Where? What country is he from? Uh, oh, no, I can't say too much more. My tongue is tied. Is he here on some sort of special government work? Well, I won't say yes, and I won't say no. Well, what's his name? Charlie. Charlie? Yes. Well, his real name is, uh, Charlie, or something like that. But I call him Charlie. Now, now, he ain't a communist, is he? What? Him? No. He's got a stack of credit cards in his wallet. That thick. Oh, good. Oh, yes. But we can't none talk to him. No, it shames him, you see, poor bloke. He can't reply to what anyone says. And then he feels horrible. If you so much as say good morning to him, he walks about hanging his head for days. You don't want that. Why, no, poor man. He'll be no trouble. Regular meals, spot a tea once in a while. My, a real foreigner. Now, don't expect Jojo the Jungle Boy. He's just a bloke. Still. You'll get on great, I know. Um, I suppose I ought to have just a word with Charlie. You speak his kind of talk? Well, the odd phrase, you know. Uh, hello, where's the gents? My hat is brown, that sort of thing. Oh, well. Oh, that'll be him. Uh, could you uh, get us some tea, dear? Oh, why, surely. Lawrence, Lawrence. Oh, uh, Charlie. Not now, Froggy. Let me just sit here a little. Well? <laughs> Thank you. That was real good! Oh, uh, Charlie. Uh, uh, come over and delete a sec, will ya? Oh, uh, could you excuse us for a moment, Pat? Why, certainly. Slavos. What on earth are you... Now, Charlie, just listen. I fixed it for you. You won't be spoken to from now on. Uh, why? What have you done? I told her you can't speak English. What? Look. You've told her I can't speak English. Why? Well, look, remember what you said? I don't want to seem rude. Well, this way you won't be. You went in on hand and foot, not a word spoken, right? Lovely. What do you have to do? Nothing. What do you have to say? Nothing. Are they offended? No, they love you, boy. But Frog... Oh, Betty, you've seen Betty. She already loves you. Why? You're picturesque. Froggy, <laughs> no. Why not? I can't. Can't what? Pretend. You don't have to do anything. You sit there. You, you bring a bit of glamour to a sweet old lady's twilight years, and you bring yourself a bit of quiet, eh? You said you can't talk to anyone. Uh, no, I, I, I can. 
I was panicking. I oh, you can? Yes. Well, that's just fine then. I suppose you'll be the one to tell her. Tell her what? Oh, that we've lied to her. That we've raised her hopes, only to dash them to the ground again. We? Yes, well, I'll be glad I've gone. I won't have to watch her disappointed little eyes fill with tears and watch her acting at her wrist with a meat knife. <laughs> Ta -ta. Uh, Frog? Hey. I can't do it. Sorry. I simply can't. No, I suppose not. Dad died here, really. Well, when Betty comes in, uh, tell her I was just joking, okay? She'll understand, don't worry. All right. You'll be all right then? Yes, thanks. Good. Uh, so long. So long. Oh, hello. Who's this? There's a frog strangler out there. That is a storm. Why, you weren't planning to go out in that, were you? No, I'm not afraid. No, I wasn't worried either until I saw that old fella gathering up the animals and putting them on a boat two by two. Why, you must be Froggy the Sewer. That's right. Betty's good friend. Well, um, I'm David. David Lee. Oh, Lee. As in uh, Robert E. Yes. Any relation? Distant. He was a great strategist. I know that. Ah, oh, Reverend David. Yes. Betty says you might buy the place. Well, we do love this old lodge and all, but what we're really hoping is Betty won't have to sell. Yes, well, you do right by her. I know. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think we'd argue with whatever price Betty thought was uh, fair. Well, good. Well, give her my best. Touch off. Good to meet you, sir. Don't call me sir. I know bloody officer. <laughs> <coughs> well, hi, honey. Honey, what's wrong? I'm pregnant. Looks like you're not so sterile after all. Isn't that good news, honey? Oh. Yeah. Well, now come here. No! Well, honey, come here. Now, if you are, then what do you think? Well, then I guess I'm going to have to Atlanta and find somebody who can... Honey, no. What do you mean, no? I mean, I don't even. This is me we're talking about. You think I'm going to walk down that aisle, a balloon up as big as a house in front of all my people? No, sir. No, I am not. No. Uh, honey, uh, listen. We, uh, we don't have to wait till November to get married. We'll do it now. I don't want to do it now. It's planned for November. David, how did this happen? It's a, it's a miracle. That's what it is. It's, that's, what I, that's what I think it is. I can't you see it that way? I think it was uh, supposed to happen. Yeah, well, I didn't suppose it to happen. You didn't suppose it to happen. You told me you could never have any... I know. Then who's supposed it to happen? The good Lord, I suppose? Uh, yes, that's it. Yeah, well, that's fine for him. He's not the one that's gonna have to. Now, honey, I know how you feel. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You feel trapped and wronged and not yet ready. And I don't blame you, but, honey, I love you. And now it looks like we're supposed to have a family together. And I say let's celebrate. I say let's just do it. You really want to? Yes. Can I ask you something? Anything. Who the hell are you? What? Look! What? I mean, and would you look at that? Would you look at the nerve of that? You were just sitting here this whole time? Now, honey, I'm sure... I can't believe that! What's going on in here? I can't get over it. We're in here having this real personal conversation, and we turn around, and what do we see? This man sitting right here. Just sitting right here listening to every word we said. Now, Miss Catherine... I can't get over it whenever I think about what we were talking about, I... Miss Catherine... I just die. He didn't hear you now, Miss Catherine. He was sitting right here this whole time... Hush now and listen. He don't speak no English. What? No. Nary a word, so you can just simmer down. He doesn't speak English. No. Well, he can say thank you, but he just learned that tonight. Who is he? He's a foreign fella. His name's Charlie. Don't you worry now, Charlie. Everything's gonna be fine. I'd die if I thought he'd been listening to us. I'll just die. Now, honey, no decent person would be just sitting there. That's right. The frog wouldn't lie to me. He's my friend. Thank you. See? Thank you. That's all he knows. All right. 
All right. Are you all right? Where's he from? What's he doing here? Now, I can't say too much, because I got my orders. But Frog says none of us are talk to him, because it makes him feel ashamed. Ain't that right, Charlie? Well, now, Ben, you're talking to him. Now, he likes it when I talk to him. I'm the one that first got to say thank you. What now, Charlie? See how his face lightens up? <laughs> looks kind of sick to me. Well, he does not. I think he does. I just think he knows we're talking about him. Now, just sit down now, Charlie. I'll give you some more nice tea. No, it ain't no trouble at all. <laughs> hey, look here. Oh, no. There was two of them in the woods in this time. That boy, Ellard. I tell you, if that boy was mine. No, he's not. And he's not mine either. If I get on him about something, he just claims not to remember. What am I supposed to do, lock him in his room? Honey, maybe he doesn't remember doing these things. Oh, he does too. And we don't know that. Maybe the things he does are just subconscious, calls for help or attention. Maybe. He's never done so many screw things before in his life. Well. And then pretending he had it. Let me talk to Ellard again. It might just be a phase. It better be. It is. God, I hope it is. I hope he's not. What? I was going to say, getting worse. Oh, Lord, worse. There's nothing to worry about tonight, anyhow. You're a good man, David. You make me feel ashamed sometimes. No, no. You go on. Woo-wee! Owen! Oh, hey, Ben. Nice weather for eels, ain't it? What are you doing in here? It's raining outside. You come to see me? Nope. Come to see you. About what? Thing. Come to spread more gossip about this house? Gossip? No, man. You see, I'm the Tillman County property inspector now. Anything I say, I can say something about you, or your family, or your guests, or your dog. You can maybe call that gossip. But I say something about this here lodge, and that ain't gossip. That's the law. The law. Anybody think you've been made sheriff? Don't you laugh. One day I might be. What would you think of that? I want some ice with that. Nope. Like it hot. All right. <laughs> I ain't going out there while it's like this. Mm -mm, you couldn't get me to go. These things out there now it's like this. That's true. Lightning brings them out. There's a man melon out there in them hills once. Nobody know what happened. He was just melted down like talent, except for his teeth, his bones, his zipper on his britches. That's true. There's things out there. Now, did you want to talk to me, Owen? They're proud I do. Well, I'll tear myself away. All right. I'll be up to say goodnight. Don't be too long. Don't worry. And could you ring for another candle? Another candle? Yeah, another candle. Mine's about shot. I'll do that for you. Sure. All right. Night. Good night. She go through a lot of candles, does she? What you got there? Me, you want some? No. It's all right. Is there some place we can talk? Now, if you're gonna talk, you're gonna do it down here. No visitors upstairs, that's the rules. And don't go driving Charlie off, neither. No, we won't bother Charlie. All right. Good night, David. Walk up, will you? I will. Thank you. Don't go believe in everything you hear. Don't worry. Not Owen. Night. Not Charlie! <laughs> All right, go on. We don't bother Charlie. What is he, Deep? No, he just doesn't speak English. He doesn't speak English. What's he doing here? Oh, I don't know, Owen. What if Betty's friends brought him up here? He don't understand me, huh? No. Nary work? Nope. Well, is that right? A foreigner, huh? Huh, Charlie? We don't get many of your kind in these parts. Why, well, last time I saw a foreigner, he was wriggling on the end of my bayonet. Hey, dummy! He really don't understand me, huh? Nope. Nope. Reckon he don't? Cause if he did, I'd know what I would. I'm smart about some things. 
Like when people play acting on me, I can always catch them. I catch them every time. And you know what I do? I pour hot coke down the necks like this. <laughs> well, this is sort of fun, ain't it? Say anything you want to as long as you're smiling, can't you? Hey, Charlie, where's your mother at? Where's she at right now? Down underground someplace, some foreign graveyard, the hell off somewhere pushing up palm trees or something? Wonder what she looks like now. You ever think of that? What she looks like right now? There's probably not enough left of her to spread on toast. What do you say to that, Charlie? Ain't you got nothing to say to that, huh? Thank you. Yeah! You hear that? Thank you. Don't that just beat it? Thank you, he says. Well, that's all he knows. Well, that's real good, Charlie. You're gonna be some fun to have around. Yes, sir. I'm gonna have some fun with you. Really gotta get to bed, Owen. You do, huh? Yes, I've had a long day. You talk any sense into them Atlanta boys? Uh, no, but I think they will come around. Got me some news? Got me a little piece of paper today. You wanna see it? What's it say? Condemned. That's right. Certified by the state office. This place should turn into a real bargain. Interesting. Thought you might think so. Now, how much can Betty ask for? Tops? Around 20000 Yeah, that is a bargain, truly. You gonna buy it then? As soon as I'm able. You be careful she don't go find herself another buyer. Oh, Betty will wait till I have the funds. Is she gonna wait six months? If need be. Cause this ain't necessarily permanent. <clears throat> that there brick work out front gets repaired, you got yourself one expensive little property again. Just the brickwork, huh? That's all. She fixes that up. There ain't nothing I can do. Legally. Well, I don't think we're gonna have to. Oh, well, hey, Eller. How are you doing? Now, you know Owen. Owen, you, sir? Hey. How what you been up to? Where's Kat that? Well, she went upstairs. Okay. Tell you what, Eller. You can do me a favor. You want to do me a favor? Yep. All right. Go into the kitchen, in the refrigerator, get a carrot. <laughs> Take it up to Catherine, will you? Get her a carrot? Yes, a uh, carrot. You know what a carrot is, don't you? Yeah, I know. Of course you do. Now, uh, would you go do that for me? You want me to get her a carrot? Yes. Uh, she said she wanted one, but I can't get away right now. All right. That'd be a big help. Thank you, Eller. <laughs> oh, Eller. Poor boy. What's the matter with him? Oh, no one knows, Owen. He just requires a lot of patience, and he's just getting worse lately. Their daddy died and all. It's a sad thing, really. It is what it is, I guess. He ain't getting none of their daddy's money, is he? <laughs> Ellard? No, not likely. You mean he might? Well, theoretically, he's supposed to receive half of the family's money. What? But only if Catherine decide he's intelligent enough. If he's intelligent enough? Yes. Well, that don't seem too likely now, do it? No. That's full of dummies, ain't it? That's real good, Ellard. Do you have any trouble? Nope. All right, take it up to Captain, will you? All right. Thank you, that's a big help. <laughs> Intelligent enough, huh? Hundred thousand dollars or so? You probably spend it all on bubblegum or something. Really got to get to bed, Owen. Thank you for your news. I'll take it from here. You will. I will. You better. Just have faith, Owen. The good Lord will provide. And if he wishes Tilgan County to have a good Christian hunt club, then Tilgan County shall have one. David! Good night. Good night, Owen. And be careful. David! Oh, I'm just uh, locking up, honey. David, you know anything about this? What? What is this? Well, uh, that's a carrot. I know. It's a carrot. Yeah. Did you tell Ellard to bring me a carrot? No, well, I told him to bring you a candle. Ellard? He said a carrot. Uh, Honey, he was just trying to do me a favor. Now, here, here is another candle. He told me to bring you a carrot. Ellard, dang, never he did not. Honey, maybe I did. Oh? Yeah, I was talking to Owen, and maybe I said carrot instead of a candle by mistake. David, you did not. Nobody says carrot instead of candle. Well, it's nothing to worry about now. Lord, what a day. Yeah, I know. You all right? I guess. All right, I'll be up to say good night. All right, come on now. I thought he said carrot. I don't want to hear any more about it, Ellen.
that's your first good lesson, Charlie. God helps those who will help themselves. Oh, do hurry. Hello? Yes, Staff Sergeant the Sewer, please. Charlie Baker. No, it's not a code, it's my name. <laughs> Hello, Frog? Oh, yes, Froggy, please come get me. No, you don't realize what you've done. No, I mean my pretending not to speak English. Well, I decided to after all. Oh, I overheard something I shouldn't have, and well, it seemed best. But, Frog, you don't understand. They don't leave me alone. That old woman does nothing but shout at me, and that others talk about me as if I'm some potted palm, and that screaming girl and her poor adult brother. And one thoroughly unpleasant chap began to say the most awful things about my mother. Well, something to the effect that there wasn't enough left of her to spread down toast? I don't know. No, I shan't tell mother, but still. And that minister fellow, Something very odd going on with him, I think. Yes, uh, what is a Christian hunt club anyhow? No, nor I. Yes, I'll hold. Where's Betty at? Thank you. <laughs> no, no, that was the boy. No, I don't think he knows about me yet. Yes, he is rather hopeless, I'm afraid. But still, I can't help to think that he's... Oh, good morning, Charlie! Oh, you must be talking to Frog. Hi, Frog. Oh, thank you. I tell you, Frog, Charlie is the sweetest thing in the whole wide world. Now, now what is it like to eat for breakfast? All right. Oh, no, it ain't no trouble at all. I swear, Charlie makes me feel about 20 years younger. Yeah, about 13. <laughs> you don't save my life when you run them up here. Well, here he is back. Eller, are you down there yet? Boy, you going with your talk? Schmidno, das manier, gallipoli mitten. You've no Omsk. Frog? Yes, uh, sorry. No, no. Yeah, never mind. No, don't send the jeep. You're right. It'll only be two days. But I do want to tell you something, Frog. And it's important. Uh, Pim Bosco Bosco. <laughs> Bring 
it with you when you come up, okay? Yes, sir. Boy, I tell you. Ow! <laughs> Go down, up the way you went down, through the back door. Stop speaking. Do you see David? No, ma'am, not this morning. Do you see his car out there? No, ma'am, it's gone. Shit. That's where she's work again. And I told him, I told him last time it's supposed to be. Hell, what am I talking to you for? Just going nuts, I guess. Probably just ready for the funny farm. Thank you. Ellie, have you seen David? No, he wasn't in the basement. I didn't suppose he was in the basement. All the dang poor people again is where he is. Helping them skin hogs and make soap and looking after their darn souls. Just, we, just hope we won't mind having a wife has to go visit in the insane asylum. What would you two like for breakfast? I don't want any breakfast. Now, Miss Catherine. No, now, I don't. Now, don't ask me again. I don't. All right. Ayler. Huh? I'm making Charlie some eggs, but I know you don't like eggs, so what would you like? Nothing either. Ayler. No, now, Ellen, you go in and have some breakfast. I'm supposed to be looking after you. What would you like? You can have French toast or pancakes. What? Eggs. No, I thought you didn't like eggs. French toast. No, you can have them if you want them. I just thought you didn't want them. Do you want them? Yep. All right. I tell you, Ellard, these questions ain't hard. Anybody think you've been trying to make me mad deliberately? Yes. You are? No. All right. How do you like your eggs? What? How do you like your eggs? Uh, they're real good, thank you. Ayler. What? When I ask you how do you like your eggs, I'm asking you how do you want me to fix them? Oh. So how do you like them? Right. All right. Oh, boy. You two be up for a game of Scrabble later. I'm not busy making some exact cookies or something. Or you want these delightful up-to-date magazines. Princess Diana is giving birth to a baby boy, her first. The child is as yet unnamed. When is that gal gonna find a name for that baby? Yeah. When is that gal gonna find a name for that? Buddy might be good. What? Buddy. For what? That little boy's name. <laughs> oh yeah, Prince Buddy. Prince Buddy of England, be fine. Well that's settled. I don't know what we're gonna do now. We name the prince. Just go back to bed, I guess. Well. Buddy is my favorite name. If I ever catch me that chipmunk, that's what he's gonna be. Buddy the chipmunk. Ellard, you couldn't catch a chipmunk if all its legs were broken and it was glued to the palm of your hand. I wouldn't want to then. Here's your eggs. Juice and grits is on the way. Now, are you sure you don't want any coffee? No. Toast? No. All right, just asking. What's got you so edgy today? I am not edgy. All right. Can't even ask a question in my own house. Not to me, you can't. No. You don't ask questions, go and ask other questions. But don't ask me, all right? How are them eggs? Fried. <laughs> Guess I'll just go walk down by the lake some more. Well, now, Froggy says Charlie don't drink any coffee, but if you, oh, you wasn't up here last night, was you? This here is Charlie. Now, he don't understand English none, not even hardly when it's real loud, so don't you go try to talk to him, all right? He done? No, he's from a foreign country. I don't suppose you've never seen a foreigner before, now have you? Uh-uh. Well, foreigners want to get to know him, they're just like regular blokes. Uh-huh. You get used to their strange sort of ways of doing things. I know I have. Everything all right, Charlie? <laughs> now, you see, he didn't understand what I said, not really, but we got this extra circular communication going on here. Golly. So don't you pay him no mind. I won't. Right?
was you putting that glass on your head? It was uh, just something we was doing. Now you know better than to tell me that. If Charlie wants to put a glass on his head, that is fine. That means, no, now Charlie, you put that up there. That's fine. That's what, that means that's what they do in his country at breakfast time. Evidently, they all put glasses on their head. Don't let me catch you doing it. Looks like you're trying to be funny. Is that what you're trying to do? You're trying to be funny? No. All right. All right. All right. It's all right. You can take it down now. <laughs> Coffee me. Why in the world? Knot. That's a knot. Don't tell me you've never seen a knot before. You use it to cut things, cut things, like ham or bacon if we had some ham or, or butter. If we had some butter, we could use it to spread it on. No, you don't need it. No, you don't need it. No, put it down. Bad. Uh, <laughs> now, that's your spoon. Yeah, you can use that to put sugar in your coffee. Well, if we had some sugar in, well, if you had some coffee. Shoot, I don't know why we got all these things, but your fart. Man, I wish somebody else would be here to tell you this, because. I don't know much of nothing, but I think that your fork could be the main thing to use because, you know, you got your eggs and your grits. Eat them up just like we've been doing. Can you say fall work? Fall work. Fall work. Fall. Two words. Fall work. Fall work. Good. Eggs. Eggs. Grits. Grease? Grits. It's called hominid grits, really. Hominid. No, grits is fine for now. Just grits. Grits. Good. Let's see. What else? Plate. Plate. Rug. Rug. Fireplace. Fireplace. <laughs> Lay up. Lay up. Good. Uh, glass. Glass. Bottle. Bottle. Good. Well, that's all the important things around here. What do we want to do? You want to? We can go outside, check out the trees and stuff, or yeah, no, let's just stay here, take a break, rest up, and then we can go outside and check out those trees and stuff directly, because that's, those are all things you'll want to know about, like if somebody ever asks you where a tree is or something, or cars, or chipmunks, and all that our Darcy stuff, yeah, or you know what I could do, I could go outside and bring stuff in. I might just do that, cause since that way you and I wouldn't have to go nowhere and we could have everything outside in here where we, where we want it. Okay, Charlie, you stay here. <laughs> no, you stay. Stay. <laughs> Good. Now, Aylard, where you going? Miss Meeks, uh, I'd like to talk, but I'm just real busy. Logs. You done with breakfast, Charlie? Oh, you must be. You took off your little head glass. <laughs> Does that mean you done? I reckon it must. <laughs> that mean you liked it? It does? No. <laughs> Does that mean you're looking forward to more of my cooking? And, and you want me to cook you some chicken? <laughs> well, don't you worry none, Charlie. Cause you know what we're having for dinner this very night? Chicken. <laughs> yes, 
walls and it was serious, the way I can just read your brain thoughts coming out. I had a pet skunk once, and I always knew just what he was thinking. You have this kind of way of looking at me and all. You're just laughing, you, sir. Now, what? Now, you want me to play the harmonica for you? Now, now, how'd you know I used to play one of them things? I had to be about 30 years now. You wait here. Oh, Mary, if only you could see. <laughs> uh huh. Mind if I sit down here? I am not going up to that yellow room again. Gosh, John, picture on the walls of dogs playing poker. Have a seat. What are you staring at? People in the country been in the middle. Have a seat. This, this would be a good place to hang meat, don't you think? No, we're not supposed to talk to you, I know. You don't care what you care. You stared at me for it. You feel like a TV set. You want the picture section? No? See it yourself. In today's constitution, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, looky here. Somebody's gonna torch the Klan headquarters. Can you beat that? Up in Atlanta. Yes, sir. Burn the place down. That's a switch. Some more boys aren't too pleased right now. You can bet on that. Watch out for the mystery. Them Klan boys, they'll get you. If you're not a hundred percent American white Christian, you're liable to find yourself some fine morning flopping around in some Safeway dumpster. Minus a few little things. <coughs> debutante Firewell, little little debutantes. Aren't they pretty? Coming out? See, the catch is, girls, you don't get to go back in. My, my. What am I doing? Oh, no. Well, what else we got? We got. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just a little bit weary this morning. <clears throat> I guess. <clears throat> there we go. Let's see. Shoot. I just get sort of, uh, a little sick and tired of things from time to time, you know? I mean, I guess I just, I don't know. Or what I'm sitting here jabbing away at you for eating. You really, you don't understand me at all, do you? That's why I guess. Talking to Betty or Ellard. There's always that some little chance he might be understood. You can't have that, you know? And David, of course, he's off someplace instead of sticking around here getting to know me. I just keep thinking if he, if only he knew me a little better, he wouldn't. Oh boy. You ever know anybody that, what's your name? Charlie? Charlie. You ever know anybody that's just, just so good? That you just gonna feel violent inside? He is, he's sweet, and he does for people, he's patient. And again with him a while, you just kind of realize it's been your whole life just being selfish and silly. I mean, doing dumb things like this. I was one of these little cutie patooties. About a year ago. Yeah, one year. Lord. Dressing up, flouncing around, bopping all over my daddy's plane, sipping at drinks and revolving restaurants. Dumb, dumb, stupid, useless, mindless horse feathers. And I miss it. I do. I just don't think I was cut out to be a decent person, you know? Some people are just meant to be a waste of food, and I think I'm one of them. I'm good at it, and a year from now, what? I'm gonna be a mother, probably own this house, preacher's wife? I mean, I mean, hold the thing, phone a minute, what? How'd all this happen? You tell me that. Charlie, I guess I just wish things didn't change quite so fast. They do, they surely do. You got some nice eyes, you know that? You're probably real nice, you are. Say, thank you, hmm? Thank you? Thank you. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Charlie. This I'll hold us out for a little while. And then uh, I thought of something that we could do. We could, oh, hey, uh, Kath, could you scoot over a bit? <laughs> we could 
look at pictures inside of books. And that would be, well, not quite as good, but just about. Heller. Huh? What are you doing? Teaching Charlie some words. He wanted to. Oh. Here, we'll show you. Ready for some words, Charlie? What's this? Sofa. Sofa, good. And that? Rug. Rug. And that? Fireplace. Fireplace, real good. Well, Ellard? And that? Lay. Ends with uh. Lay him. <laughs> Lay him, real good. Well, Ellard, I declare. Okay, Charlie, here's some new ones. Uh, Oh, Charlie, I found it. I put it away with mix and stuff in What in the world? Ellard's teaching Charlie. He is? Okay, Charlie. Rock. Rock. Bush. Bush. I like it. What's that? Oh, Charlie said he wanted to hear some harmonica music, so I said... You play that? Well, I used to could. I better go off and practice somewhere. My, my. Day for surprises. You looking for something? I'm just gonna scare at breakfast. You are? Yeah. Are you feeling all right? Yes, ma'am. Lots. Brick? Greek? Good. Okay, Charlie. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these things that we just learned and I'm gonna mix them up, okay? Here. No peeking now. Uh, here. Well, look at you. What? Well, yeah, I know. I'm a mess. I us helping clean up a fire down there. A fire? Yeah, a fire. No one hurt. Well, that's good. Yeah, but I'm gonna be gone a couple of days. All right. Well, come on in here. We're allowed to serve Ellie. What's he doing? English lesson. English? Okay, Charlie, hands down. Down. <laughs> good. Now, what's this? Greek. Brick. And this bush. Bush. Good. Isn't that something? Uh, yes, it is. And this rock. Rock. Real good. Okay, Charlie, uh, here's some new ones. Jar. 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 Bar. Bar. Nail, nail, lay it, lay it, came together. Jar, bar, nail, lay it. such an opportunity here, I tell you, the entire Georgia Empire, or at least what's left of it, it's all out there in that van. The hardware, the uniforms, everything. I'll tell you this, if you can keep a secret, by this time tomorrow, I expect to be a happily married homeowner. What? Yes. Quietly and legally. That way there's no need to get gun happy, all right? No need to arouse the law until we are the law. Man, if it wasn't for that money. I know. Let's get this open. Good. Records and addresses. We're gonna need these. Praise God. Boy, honey, look at here. Oh, I do like that much. Well, wait. We just drove up this entire mountain with a box full of dynamite. Don't you worry. These babies ain't going off without a charge. These good little babies. All 
All right, let's put this back. All right, let's put this back in the van. Betty goes over to this house with a toothbrush, and I don't want to have to explain dynamite. All right. Hey, though, how come you didn't tell us you was getting married tomorrow? We thought you were getting married in November. Oh, no, Catherine and I just couldn't wait till November. No? No. <laughs> we are far too much in love. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty. Good. How many stairs? Twenty. Good. How many fingers? Six. Six. Good. <laughs> now, here's the tricky one. How many little pieces of sand? A zillion. A zillion? Yeah. When there's a whole bunch of something, you could just say a zillion. A zillion. Right. Here's your dinner. Grits is on the way. Don't you rush now. I ain't. You know, Charlie, you've been doing real good considering it's only been two days. Thank you. I am happy. How many chairs? Four chips. Good. How many fireworks? <laughs> Two fireworks. Real good. How many grits? A zillion. What? How <laughs> oh, I don't time, hey. Where have y'all been? Down at the courthouse again. Hot time for Tillman, Georgia. Go down to March and build a new courthouse. Well, how they coming with it? Real good. They let me help today. My goodness, son, they did? Yeah, they said I was, you know, real good. Yes, they say good. Well, I thought they would. You want any coffee, honey? No, I'm just about to drive Charlie and see another stroll before dark. Another one of your strolls, huh? Oh, yeah. I tell Charlie all my problems, and he just listens and nods, you know? Nobody can keep a secret like Charlie can. <laughs> Now, I think Charlie understands a bit more than he's letting on. Lord, I hope not. He's so embarrassed. Well, he's remarkable anyhow. I know that. Yes, ma'am. No doubt about it. Truly remarkable. Hmm? Remarkable. Remarkable. Good. <laughs> oh, evening, old. Frog. Oh, love it. Come here. What are you doing up here? Oh, I couldn't stay away from your flashy noise, your perky little nose. Now your... you stop. I'll try. Oh, hello. This here is Catherine. Oh, yes. Hello. And Ellery. Hey, very nice. This here is Charlie's friend that brought him up here. Yeah, that's right. Charlie. Oh, uh, how's it going then? Just grand. It couldn't be better. Everything's fine. Really? Yes, indeed. But I thought... Oh, I know, Frog. But with Charlie around, you sort of forget about the bad things. You do? Oh, yes. Oh, Frog, you was just wrong about Charlie. Now, now he said that Froggy and Charlie, even, was going to be quiet like and regular and boring. <coughs> what? No. That's what he said. Can you believe it? Well, he ain't boring at all. Why? I don't reckon a minute goes by when one of us catches Charlie doing something or saying something real cute and strange. We're in this little head glass at breakfast. <laughs> Wearing this little what? Charlie ain't born at all. Why, well, he's just. Why, well, he's just simply. Remarkable. Remarkable, yes. Well, uh, in his native country, I know he's quite the uh, raconteur. What's that? Oh, uh, you know, jokes, amusing stories. Oh, yes, even though I thought he'd be nervous. I hear he's quite the entertainer back home, but here, uh, I thought. Oh, tell one. Mm -hmm. Oh, tell one here. I'll make him tell one of his stories. Uh, oh, no, I, I didn't mean. Go on, tell him, please. Well. Listen up, y'all. Charlie's going to tell one of his favorite stories. Chance of a lifetime. Go on. Oh, uh, uh, Charlie. Mm hmm. Is that all right? I, I, I mean, uh, 
Hoko non phonos doros. Uh, blasne, blasne. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Brops ni snops. Bris nis. Neduski omni boishnia. Milo aramzani ro o o chpivno. Shmichna, 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 shmichna. To to bezos niadotski. Mal. A biutski dotski. Perch de masa baksaraksa. Ha. Milo michno, milo em. Dichni mala omski. I prisnia, prasnia, prisnia, prasnia, pri. Hai shmotka. Milanski mosk. Partonsa hopni skipni through the woods. Mim hopni skipni through the woods. No, no, no. Adios mosk. Hopni skipni, hopni skipni, hopni skipni through the woods. Mimski vai om mi odja zaden da foric mi duška. Brojšni, 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 brojšni. Ja, Anglija nastika da slitski čilden ranski hajten in do vuc. Milo, polo papno dič praznadija. Mirolo, polo papno obskrodnje. Das brojšni, brojšni. Brojšni, brojšni. Hopni skipni, hopni skipni, brojšni, brojšni. Hopni skipni, hopni, brojšni, brojšni. Hopni skipni, brojšni. Hopni brojšni. A? Ilo, milo, momski mim. Ivno, pivno, pomski pim. Klint? I don't believe it. Thank you. That was real good, Charlie. Thank you. And I understood practically all of it, I think. That's funny. I did too, I thought. I like that part about the tractor. That was real clear to me. Tractor? Yeah. Wasn't there a part about a tractor riding around? Tractor? Yeah. No. No, Betty. I didn't think there was a tractor riding around. No. Uh, story is about big machine to cut ground. Big? Charlie, that is, that is a tractor. Oh? Yes. Oh, yes. Story is about tractor. Ah. Yes. I thought I was right about that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. I am sorry. Oh, no. No, no. Don't be sorry. No, I am bad. No. No, no, no. no. Charlie. No, 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 don't you even say that. Charlie. That was a wonderful story. It was. It was wonderful. You're, you are wonderful. You. No. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, Charlie, Charlie. Would you look at him? My goodness. Sweet. I'm going to be sick in a minute. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> well, uh, he's picked up a bit of English, I see. Oh, yes. Charlie's been in good hands. But last night, I learned to read. To read? To read book. Ah. He teaches me. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, how long did it take you to teach him to, uh, to read? About an hour. <laughs> One hour. Yes, I saw it. Well, how did I miss this? Here, you help. Okay. <clears throat> Shall I compare thee to summer day? Thou art more lovely uh, and and more timid. Yes. Yeah, very good. Well, Ellen. Oh, that's just an hour. I know. Remember how long it took me to read? About three years. 
And uh, what do you think accounts for the difference? Well, I suppose he just had a better teacher. Oh. <laughs> yes, remarkable. I guess so remarkable. You got a rat. Pretty soon we're going to stop talking to you, Charlie. Stop talk? Well, if you really know what I'm saying, I can't tell you any secrets now, can I? I, I stop learning. No, no, Charlie. You go on and learn. Maybe I'll just tell you all my secrets anyway. Yes? We'll see. Yes? We'll see. What mean, we'll see? Oh, it means yes. We'll see. I mean yes. This time, it means yes. In my country, yes is gawk. Gawk? Gawk. What's no mean? Bleed. Bleed? Gawk. You would like some? Gawk. And you? We'll see. <laughs> This nice. Very nice. Getting away with bloody murder is what it is. What's that? Um, um, no, nothing. I feel a bit dull myself, really, but never mind. Oh, Froggy, you can't help me, you ain't a foreigner. No. Besides, we gotta make the most of Charlie. He's leaving us tomorrow. If we can get him to go, yeah. La la. Blasty, blasty. Blasty, blasty, right. What's that mean? A uh, what? Oh, uh, blasty, blasty. Well, I, I might be wrong, but I think it means enjoy it while you've got it. Am I right, Charlie? Blasty, blasty? No. It mean ain't this nice. <laughs> well. Not far off now, was I? Oh, I'd like to stay now, but I think I'd go mad, so... Oh. oh, I'll be back tomorrow. Nice to have met you both. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Gummo Rim Jumbo. Gummo Rim Jumbo? I still wet the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. David, what about time? What's he doing with that van? Sell the vegetables from it? What? Yeah, sometimes people sell vegetables from the back of those. <laughs> well, if that's what you think, then maybe that's right. Yep. Yeah, well, he's not gonna see me like this. So you two keep him out there until I get back down, all right? All right. Okay. Nice to meet you, Froggy. Right. Oh, Frog, I'm sorry, something came over me. Yeah, thanks a lot. You made me look like a bleeding idiot. Well, I, I'm sorry, Frog. I, I did, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> a frog, I'm, I'm sorry. It, it, you know what? It wasn't that difficult. Cool. Yes, that gives me an idea. Yeah, well, that gives me an idea. Oh, Frog, if only you could see the adventures I've been having. I haven't quite sorted out myself yet, but I think I'm beginning to acquire <laughs> A personality. Oh. Yes, people seem to hand it to me piece by piece as they walk into the room. You see, you just did it there. And suddenly I'm a raconteur. Suddenly I'm Catherine's confessor, and Ellen's prize pupil, and Betty's pet skunk. Her what? Oh, well. Shakespeare, because of me, because of me, Frog, we're making one another, we're becoming complete and alive and, how oh, I can't explain it, but I shall miss them. I shall miss them terribly. Well, I suppose it's all right then. I'm late. Uh, Frog, <coughs> thank you. Thank you for making me a foreigner. Well, Feel a bit like Dr. Frankenstein, but never mind. <laughs> Have yourself a lark. Frankenstein. Right. Dummy, you 
still here, huh? Well, well. You having a nice time? Bet you are. Sucking around here, acting like you one of us? I tell you one thing, dummy boy. You enjoy it now. Cause I get to be county sheriff around here and I got that invisible empire to back me up. Man, there ain't gonna be none of you left in this country. Foreigners, we're gonna wipe you all right out. All you dummy boys, black boys, and Jew boys, we're gonna clean up this whole country by and by. And you know where it's gonna start? Right here. This is gonna be the most important spot in the US of A come next couple of years. It is. You ain't gonna see it though. No, sir, we gotta ride y'all out here every way they is. Boat, plane, yeah, we can afford it too. We gonna get us lots of money real soon. You know what I hope? I hope some of you spots back. I just hope you do, cause I wanna see what you's got for blood. Are you happy? Hey, you talking. Hello, one, two, three, I am happy, goodbye. Oh. One, two, three, G.I. Big shot, you sister. One, two, three, upside down, okay? What you talking about? Jamming. Hello, hello, one, two, three. He big, jug around, dilly dally, big bang theory. What? <laughs> hello, one, two, three. I look through your bones. <laughs> What you talking about, mister? I come. Missy, the moon get big. You sleep. Sleep out, out. Oh, you skin. Hi, boy. <laughs> I come. I look through your bones. What? <laughs> round and round and in the town. Do not look into your bones when the bees come down. Hey, hey, somebody get in here! Get in here! What's the matter, Owen? What is it? This fella's talking crazy! Oh, who is? He is! Talking weird! Oh, you, you know he doesn't speak English, right? Well, he went and learned some! <laughs> oh, well, what'd he say? I don't know. Something about, about bees coming down. Bees? Yeah, yeah, bees coming down. Looking through bones. One, two, three, and all. <laughs> that doesn't sound too bad. Not to you, it don't. He didn't say it right to you. You should have seen him. His eyes got all funny. There was some kind of rays coming at him. They was, I seen him. Some kind of hoodoo man, so I think he is. Just uh, simmer down, Owen. He uh, seems all right to me. Well, he ain't. Charlie's not. He wouldn't say anything about bees. Yeah, well, bees come down. That's what he said. I heard him. Bees come down. No, no. Listen. Please calm down. Please calm down. That's what he said. Not please calm down. I think that's good advice, too. That's what I thought it was. Did he said bees come down. Well, when bees come down doesn't make any sense. I know that. That's why I was bringing it to your attention. All right, Owen. And don't you talk to me like that. All right, Owen. Talk to me like I'm some halfway kid or something. All right. Well, looky who's here. Young Reverend David Marshall Lee's that live and breathe. My mom, instead of making an appearance, did we? Asked me and gone a whole day. I've been gone two days. Oh. <laughs> he brought home a pretty green man, too. Yeah, uh, you know the company that burned down in Atlanta? Well, they're so grateful to me and Owen for our help that they lent me their Volkswagen van for my ministry until they rebuilt. Isn't that something? Very nice. Yes, uh, it's a much needed gift, I'll tell you, right out of the ashes. Praise God. Ellard figured you'd go sell vegetables from it. Well, that's Ellard. Hey, El. Hey. Ellard here's been teaching Charlie English. Well, now, did you continue on with that? That's just fine. Yep. Teaching him uh, various words and so on, were you? Yep. He, Ellard, uh, teach you? Indubitably. Yes. Yeah, real good. He teach. He has taught me many new words. 
considering it has only been two days. Well, Eller? Tomorrow we study prepositional phrases. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, we might. I can't believe this. David, can you believe all this? Well, I, uh, no, it's uh, hard to believe, ain't it? You two, first that courthouse business and now this? Do what? Oh, Charlie's been taking Ellen up to watch him build the new courthouse. And you know what? They've got Ellen learning how to lay bricks. What? Yeah, and I guess he's been getting compliments from the workers and everything. Yes. You know, all these achievements, I think we ought to have a party or something. <laughs> or, you know what? I know what. Listen, y'all. Ellen, do you know what I'm going to do? Uh-uh. By God, I'm going to give you inheritance. What? Catherine? I am. Daddy told me if I ever thought you were smart enough to handle it, I was going to be half the family money. $112,000. Oh, golly! Just stand there, why don't you? Well, uh, Catherine, that's wonderful of you. And uh, I tell you what, uh, right after we get married, we'll have a big celebration where we present the check to her together. All right. Good. And we've got Charlie to thank, really. Uh, yes, uh, I'd like to learn more about you, Charlie. Tell me. Gawk? You, uh, you what? Gawk. It means yes. Oh, I see. Uh, gawk? Gawk. And no, it's blit. Blit? Gawk. <laughs> okay, uh, now, Charlie, where is it you're from? From? Yes, uh, what is the name of your home? Charlie House. <laughs> now, uh, now, uh, where is your home? Where is your home? Where do you live at? Where do I live at? Ah, I show you. Do you have glob? Uh, do I have glob? Yes, glob. Glob of world. Oh, uh, well, I think we're out somewhere. Yeah, there's one on the bookshelf. Oh, it's mighty high. Oh. I'll get it. Oh, thank you, Ellard. <laughs> now, watch out now. Be careful. <laughs> Here, please hold. Come on, Owen. All right. All right. So you live here. Yes. So I live. Go. Go. Out. Go out. So that means I live here. Now come back in on one. My home. That looks like a mighty fine place to live. The hell is I doing out there? <laughs> well, I don't know. We was all in here looking at Charlie's house. Never mind, Owen. Never mind. I was trying to learn some details about Charlie here, but that seems it's going to be difficult. Hello. Uh, all right, uh, Charlie, what language do you speak? What language? Yes, uh, do you speak? Do I speak? Yes. Yes. Hello. <laughs> uh, 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 what, what name do you have for your tongue? Tongue? Yes. What name? Floppy. <laughs> floppy? Yes, floppy the tongue. What name you have for your tongue? To floppy? Ah, oh, same as mine! <laughs> Remarkable! David, why don't you have Ellen help you? All right. He wants to know where you live at. I told him. What did you want me to ask him? What language he speaks. What language? He wants to know about your kind of talk. My kind of talk. So, gawk, bleed? Yeah, yes. Yes, I teach. To what? I teach to you. No. No? No. That's not what my, I... My kind of talk bad. Oh. Oh, I am bad. No, Charlie. David, oh. the Lord sakes. What? You've hurt his feelings. I've hurt his feelings? Yes. What about me? What about my feelings? David. I mean it. Just 
dragging along with them, that's all. I have, haven't I? I mean, I've asked some questions about myself, haven't I? What have I learned? His tongue's name is Flop, and he lives in the air. David. It's a little frustrating. Correct me that. No, it isn't. You just have to be patient. Patient? You're telling me to be patient? David! Who the hell are you be telling me? I've never seen you like this. Maybe it's just a face. <laughs> All right. What do you want from me? You want me to learn some words from this man? Well, yes. I mean, he really just wants to give us something. Can't you see that? Yes. I really won't give it to you. <laughs> All right, then. Yes, I teach now? Yes, uh, how about you uh, teach me something? Well, don't that just cut it. Do anything she says, I reckon would be. I reckon if she said for you to- Now, Owen, we can discuss this later. There ain't gonna be nothing to discuss. Now, once I go down into town and tell some friends of mine who's up here shutting up to foreigners. Owen, maybe if you thought about it, you'd see why I'm doing this. I see why. Who cares, David? Just let him go. No, honey. Owen is one of God's children, too. I think it might be profitable for him to stay here and learn with us. I ain't staying here talking no dang hoodoo talk. <laughs> you must learn to be me, otherwise you may never inherit this earth. I'm not sure what you just did. I just doubled the size of Charlie's class, honey. I teach now. All. All of us? Well. All say, gawk, bleed, gawk, bleed. You say, Gawk? Gawk? Go on, Owen. It's not gonna hurt you. We're sharing something here. Yes, we share. Gawk? Gawk! <laughs> He's saying like Wuhan! <laughs> Listen here, you little... Have a seat, Owen. I am sorry, but sounds so stupid. <laughs> Honey? I'm sorry, I've just never seen him so tickled. I'm sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. Yes, I am sorry. <laughs> All right! Owen, I don't have to put up with this. Now, Owen, no one's laughing at you. The hell they ain't! No, now, uh, Baylor, what are you laughing at just now? It's just something I made up. All right. All right. Owen? Oh. Betty? It's just something Baylor made up. <laughs> Huh? Maybe we ought to just uh, cease this idea of a lesson. Uh, no, no, I teach. It's an important lesson. Oh. Oh, Dave, let him go on. Come on, Dave, we'll be good. Y yes, I, I teach. All right. Not me. Owen? He called me stupid. Nobody calls me stupid. Well, I'm sure he didn't mean really stupid. Uh, no, no, I in my country, stupid. Good. What? Yes, we have said, when you're not sure, ask a stupid person, then do something else. What the hell? I think I understood it. Betty? Is that... Man, I got half a mind of... Owen? He have half a mind? <laughs> ah! Charlie? So, gawk, bleed. How you say, yes? Gawk? Good. How you say, no. Blit. Real good. How you say, I go to chop wood today. <laughs> I, I don't know. I go to chop wood today. I, I try. I don't know. I go to chop wood today. Do it, do it. Do it, do it, yes. Why does she know that? She pay attention. What the hell? Owen, now remember the other cheek. Yes, Owen, other cheek and half a mind. You shut up. Just pay it, mister. I've done too long, I'm gonna take from you. Sit right here talking this monkey jabber. The hell do you think I am? Owen? Shut up, I said. Oh, yeah. Y'all just thought you messed with me, did you? Is that it? Have some fun with some dumb cracker? Well, I'll show you who the real dummies are. Owen? Well, you just call back. Wait a minute, man. I'm doing the talking from now on. Me. I got me some friends down there. They don't think I'm so dumb. Matter of fact, they're just waiting to hear one word from me. Just one little word before they come riding up this mountain in a blaze of light. Like they've been doing for a hundred years. More than a hundred years. Taking care of foreigners like him. So you get yourselves ready. 
Put on your pretty dresses, women. You fixing to meet the clay. That was unfortunate. That was uh, really unfortunate. The clan. Is that what he said? The clan? Yes, that's what he said. Is Owen with the clan? I don't know. How would I know? Well? I'm gonna go after him. Wait, don't go after him. Why don't right, we just... Will you stop? All right, will you stop? Owen? I think he's deeply troubled. I've been trying to work with a man. David, don't you get it? He's threatening us. I'll call the police. No. All right, you've helped enough. What? Just let me try and fix this, all right? Let me salvage this, please. Well? Don't call the police. He doesn't know who he's dealing with. Those clan boys, they wouldn't come up here. Betty, they will. If it's really the clan, all he has to do is tell them that Charlie's up and it's all the excuse they need. But Ford will get all booze up to grab the guns and come whooping up here with those sheets over the heads. Sheets? Over heads? That's how they do, yeah. They put sheets over the heads and, oh, Charlie, you really have no idea what any of us is talking about, do you? No. You had no idea what you were getting us into with that language lesson of yours. I? Well, you're not to blame. I mean, you're just being yourself. Oh, I'd have promised we wouldn't call the police. Who else we've called? The Army? The Army? Or the Marines? Well, froggy! Yeah, let's go froggy. I mean, he's probably not back yet, but, well, who else do people call? Old friends or neighbors? I'm trying to think of all the way dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fred and Marvin Smith might come up, or Old Man Reed. Oh, I promise you wouldn't call the police. Eddie Perky Pie would come up, I'm sure of it. Of course, he's missing both his arms. Let's just call the police. Hello? Hello? Eat. Hello? Hello? Great. Answer machine. Yeah, this is Captain Sims up at Betty's. Listen, Frog, we might be in some trouble, and there might be some guys coming up here with guns, and I really don't think they like foreigners too much. So, if you could just... Bring anyone or anything you can, that'd be, that'd be real great. I mean, and if you see a mean looking fella in like a green van, that's our amuser. Kick a hole in his tire or something, will ya? I mean, we're gonna call the cops, it's probably nothing to worry about, but. Hello? Hello? We've been cut off. Let me see it. Ellen, try the lights. Hello? Betty, they cut off our electricity. Oh. Down at the road or somewhere. That scares me. That doesn't sound too good now, does it? And they're not just fooling now. It's going to be dark soon. Oh, they better not come up here, tearing away at this house and scaring Charlie. Ellen, help us think. What? I just gave you $100,000 for being smart. You're the highest paid mom we got here. Now think of something. Uh, uh, how's this? Yeah. Oh, Charlie, I plum forgot we had you here. Huh? You've been all over the, over the world, and you got some strange ways of doing something. You'll think of something. Yeah, Charlie, you'll think of something. Oh, I... Uh... Charlie, if you have any idea, anything at all, please tell us. I mean, even a stupid one at this point. Stupid idea. Stupid idea. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be stupid, just, you know. Uh, listen, I... Uh... Charlie, what are you thinking? Sheets? What? <laughs> you know what? I'm just not going to worry anymore. I'm just not. They would have been here by now, and I think the electricity went off by itself. They think that David's down there with Owen right now, telling jokes and swapping stories or praying together or something. Well, maybe not that, but I bet there's nothing to worry about, so don't worry. No. Uh, worry is out of despair. Is that what y'all say in your country? Yes. Tell me something about your country, Charlie. Anything. Just tell me what it's like. Oh, it's difficult. It's so long ago. Two days, Charlie. Not too long. Hmm. Well, are you married or anything? Yes. What's her name? Mavra. Mavra. That's pretty. Yes. She is ill. I'm sorry. Do you love her a lot? Yes. And what do y'all do together? Do you take walks together? Yes. Sometimes we take walks apart. 
Do you have any friends? Yes, uh, she have 23. 23? <laughs> yes. There any sign of company? No. Well, I did what Charlie said, and I took out all the lights from upstairs. That way, even if the electricity comes on, it'll be dark as pitch up there. Well, I'm just hoping the day just passed. Oh, don't tell Ellard that. He wants to try out Charlie's plan. Now, we locked that front door. Oh, I'll get it. Just me. <laughs> yeah, still a bit jumpy, I guess. I got that thing bricked up again. We want to try it once more? No, why don't we just stay down here for a bit? Okay, I think we got it anyhow. Now think. Just think. If the really did come up here, what's the worst that could happen? Well, they could kill us, cut us up in little bits, and hang us from the trees out there. You're thinking too much, Ellard. It's what I'm paid for. <laughs> well, look at this commander group. We got what? A foreigner, an ex debutante a nice old lady, and a wealthy Brick Lane English teacher. I don't see how we could lose, do you? Boy! And a croquet mallet. How entirely stupid. Also, we have stupid plan. That's right, stupid plans, croquet mallet, we're sick. What's wrong with my croquet mallet? Oh, nothing. I thought it was good. Well, it's sure gonna give us a chance to see how brave you all are. Yes. Now, Betty, make it be the Betty. What is it, honey? I thought I just saw the headlight through the trees. Mm, well, maybe it's Frog or David. No. Then he'd be locked out front door. Well, I'll get it. Is it them? Yeah, it's them. I can see the dang torches through the trees. They'll be up here in no time. And there's the van. Y'all better get upstairs. All right, come on, Elle. I. Come on, Elle. I. Don't think about it, come on. I. If we're gonna do this. What's wrong? He's scared. If it's stupid, they're gonna. Come on, Elle, we don't have any choice, and then let's go. I. I can't get a police. Listen, a uh, crook. It, in my country, a great symbol of a freedom. Huh? Yes, we have king. Great, famous, uh, famous, uh, Charlie. Famous warrior king. Very brave. Many battles he win with croquet mount. Huh? Yes, always fight with croquet mount. Here, hold. Ah, oh, the same, the same. You look like him. The king? The king, the king. King Buddy! King Buddy? Charlie! Ya scumni a barni barni! Polo, papno, o scrogni, das ditchly skilda! What's that mean? It means separate. We are all single people, but together we are as four! That's what I think, too! Let's go and get him! Charlie, how did you. Go, go! Yeah, let's get everybody down here. 
Take a last look around, little lady. This place is gonna be a beta property this time tomorrow, free for the taking. It's gonna look real different real soon. Headquarters, that's what it's gonna be. GHQ for white America. Everything we need's out there in that van, just
David Sheethead? Sheethead, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Be sorry when I marry a stranger. Don't be sorry when I don't. Bro, you exploded that van out there? Oh, yes. I am sorry about the geraniums. Oh, no, that's fine. Oh, uh, yeah, well, what happened then? How did you get rid of all those blocks? Oh, we scared them off. It was Charlie's plan, and we acted it out. First, Ailer and Catherine, they went upstairs, and then they caught David on the head with that croquet mallet, just like King Buddy used to do. And, and then they came down here, and Charlie, he was all like, ooh. And Ailer scooched down to the floor, ooh. Oh. It was real scary. It could be, yeah. Then one thing and another, and today was an awful strange day for around here. Excuse me, Froggy. Now, honey, don't you grieve? I'm not grieving, Betty. I'm just having thoughts about this and that. Listen, I just want you to fit in this house. You're not going to move out of here. I ain't? No, because I'm going to stay here with you. You are? Yeah. We're going to get this place going again, you and me. And Ellen, too, if he wants to. How about that, Ellen? Maybe you can do the brickwork. Yeah, and I was just thinking about how maybe we could use a brick porch and some little brick walls around the trees. All right, then we'll stay. Oh, that'll be the next best thing to have in kids. I always wanted to have kids running around here. Well, you just keep your eyes open. What? I'll tell you something later. And maybe some brick birds? Brick birds? Yeah. What kind of birds? Great big? Great big. Brick birds? Yeah. Well, Eller? Now, if Eller thinks that'll look nice, I'm inclined to believe him. All right. Okay. Now, Charlie, I hate to think what would have happened to us if we had a man here. I'm gonna miss it to no end. We all are. Yeah. Oh, I miss you too. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Yeah. Oh, um, Charlie. Can I have a word with you, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me take a minute. Charlie, oh, y'all come out here with me. <laughs> One minute. That's all. Well, 